Hi, ciao. Greetings from uh, Castagneto Carducci, Italy. So Michelle and I are here for about a month to hang out with our friends Kika and Arnaud, uh, who are also our co-partners in Kika's cooking club, our online cooking classes. Um, and so yeah, we're here for the month and uh, I wanted to sort of, sort of show you all our commute uh, from where we're living for a month and to where Kika's house is. So it's about five to seven minutes away. First off, this is our home for the month. It's a beautiful property that has a bunch of apartments and Michelle and I are living in one of those. And uh, yeah, look at these trees. They're pretty amazing. So this is my highway to work. It is a beautiful olive grove with amazing trees that are probably, I don't know, 400 years old. Let's just say that, um, probably not. But if you can look right through the trees, maybe you can see it in the hills. That is the beautiful hill town of Casineto Carducci. We'll probably get a better view later, but uh, what we do now is we take a left and we continue on our journey. Okay, so this is a way better view. So on the road to Kika's, we are still in olives, but we also have grapes. So this whole area that we're in is a beautiful wine and olive oil producing area. And there now you can see the town of Castagneto Carducci, which is pretty amazing. I think they're actually doing harvesting. With okay, so something to note on this journey is that sometimes you take a shortcut to get from one olive and wine grove, or I should say vineyard, to another. Um, and then again, you can see the town in the distance. So yeah, we'll be heading over there. So this is our third, technically our third, I think, and Michelle would know better, uh, visit to Kika and Arno's area here in Castagneto Carducci. We've been staying for a couple months each time to help with their with Kika's cooking classes that she does at her house. And um, and this year's a little different just because we have, haven't seen them in over three years and um, we now run an online cooking class together. So it's kind of fun to be here. Oh, and there's a tractor coming. So I wanted to stop real quickly on my little work commute here and you'll see that the olives are just about ready to harvest. All right, so that was about five to seven minutes from where our apartment is. And that is where Kika's house is. All right, so we've made it to Kika and Arno's farmhouse. And we're about to go inside. We might be greeted by some friends. Hey, Bita one of two of their dogs how's it going Bita? doing okay yeah good dog today yeah you're a good dog all right and then we are heading into their beautiful terrace in a lovely place they actually have two apartments above hey ciao hey, hey. that's arno <laughs> he's working hard he's the man behind the camera and then we go into kika's kitchen and this is where we'll get working on... Oh, and there's Aldo, the cat. And this is where we will start to get to uh, work today. Aldo. No, 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 no. Hey! And there's my coworker and chef and friend, Kika. Ciao, Kika. Ciao. I'm making one of those things for the gram, you know? Yeah, okay. Oh. I, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? We are just prepping for... Um, for a class. Got my knife and we are chopping veggies and getting ready for a roast. So that's what we're doing for today's class. So Kika preps a bunch of the uh, the food before people come here. And then she teaches like one or two dishes. And then we've got some fresh porcini we're gonna use for lunch today. Stick around for that. All right, so now we're on to fun guys. So uh, Kika's neighbor or friend brought these fresh porcinis so we're gonna take care of that right now and then make a pasta for lunch well just like that we are ready for lunch with the team michelle's here we've also got arno and kika and look at this spread we've got that fresh uh porcini mushrooms and pasta kika made a nice salad and we're ready to eat ciao